Hello everyone. So one of the most uh, important thing that you should always do and uh, review and take a look at is uh, about resolutions in uh, your Jira workflow. So basically in Jira, we of course have this concept of uh, a workflow. Now, if you don't know, if you're new to Jira, workflow is basically uh, your process. And by looking at the workflow, you can see and you can figure out potentially the life cycle and the current state of your uh, issue, your task, your story. And usually when you talk about a workflow, there is like uh, a starting or initial status or initial transition. Basically the create issue transition is the initial transition that will actually land the issue when it is created to one of these uh, statuses. Usually it is of course to do or open, but when you're done with your work, your status could be done or closed or resolved, right? And uh, apart from the status, for example, if you if you look at this status, this particular status in the workflow, now we have to do in progress and done. Now imagine that there is a bug which is uh, new, and the status is to do. You will have, you will of course move it to done status by you, but by looking at the status only, you won't be able to figure out whether the bug was actually resolved or not. So basically, the final closure is uh, identified with the help of uh, a resolution. Now this is something that uh, you know usually Jira administrators they know, but what you should do, try to. I mean, the thing is that whenever you are moving your issue in your workflow based on uh, that last status, make sure in the last status or the transition to the last status, either you have a transition screen where you have the option to populate the resolution field, or maybe based on the maybe based on the transition itself, you can automatically set the resolution. So for example, maybe you have a you, you you may have a transition called as rejected which is basically going to close, but in that particular transition using post function, you can update the resolution field. So to, to check this, what you can do, you can go to the project uh, settings first and then go to the workflows and take a look at whether you have number one, any uh, resolution set in the, in, the, in the workflow transition. So if you look at this particular workflow, the same workflow that I just uh, showed you, now the final closure will happen at this transition or after this transition. Now take a look at the post function. And when you look at the post function, you can see here that there is a, a resolution of issue that will be set to done. So basically, this is something that you should ensure that it is there in your workflow. Usually by default, if you're using like one of the default workflow, you should have it. And if you maybe because you can also reopen the issue, right? And uh, when you reopen the issue, you of course want uh, this uh, resolution to be cleared, right? That is how things are. So for example, if you go to uh, the other workflow transition, let us go to to do, um, or basically when you go back to to do, you can actually see here that there should be, uh, ideally there should be a, a post function again, which is basically clearing your uh, resolution because you don't really want to uh, because uh, along with status and resolution and also a date called resolved you know that this particular issue was resolved on this date with this resolution so if you look at uh, your story let us say you're looking at uh, this particular story which is uh, or let us start with a new story and what i will do i will also let us say there is a new story uh, whatever we don't really care about the summary <laughs> so when I look at the issue, I will also at the same time show you a few things. If you go to your issue navigator and I will search for this story, which is ANDT 71 and uh, the workflow is uh, a very simple workflow. So we have status and we also have resolution, these two fields and resolved, like when it was resolved. So just type in here key is equal to ANDT, what is the name or uh, the ID 71. 71. So basically, we are looking at this status, right? And uh, do we have any other uh, field called uh, resolution? No. So let us add it. So along with status, I may want to add resolved and resolution. 
and if I click on this, I will be able to see here that the, 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 the resolution is unresolved. So let me just you now move it slightly on the right and uh, I will take a look at both these, hopefully both of these uh, fields to basically figure out um, and, I, and, I, and I actually want to show you. So basically we have status. Let me just bring these together. Okay, resolve. And you can actually use this information to, you know, report on it and do a lot of wonderful things. So, okay, let us go back to the issue. Let me just resolve it, right? So it means that this was resolved. And you can see here that there is like a check mark. And this done is not really the... Um, done like status it is basically the resolved uh, which is it, it's a field which is populated so if i now look at the option here so status is done resolution is done and it was resolved on this state right now i can also reopen it and when i reopen it we can go back and we can see that uh, we are back to what it was earlier but there is a history so you can always take a look at the history of your issue and you can also see uh, when this was uh, resolved and uh, basically it is happening using a post function but you can also do it manually and what you can also do is uh, and uh, resolve um, so basically uh, this particular field resolved it will have basically those values right and you can also check if I mean I if there if there is something in the resolved field it means jira will consider those field those, those issues as basically you know they are done uh, so that is why you should make sure that the final closure using resolution and uh, the final last state of the workflow should basically go hand in hand or they should basically align with each other because it actually causes a lot of problems and not many people are actually taking care of this so you as a good jira admin make sure that your workflows they have this resolution uh you we it, it may not be always there so you just you know need to make it make sure when you are a goal like when you go live with this new jira process whatever you want to do uh then this should be in place and yeah that is it that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you also learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.